Today we are checking out the Buy Robot Light Roan. It is a cheap all-in-one FPV starter kit. Comes with the quad, comes with a monitor with DVR, all for about 150 bucks. I like this one. Let's check it out. Flip time. Woo! Before we get into the flight reviews of this craft, just go over a few of the specifics. It does have auto hovering, auto takeoff and auto landing, and that is assignable on the transmitter here uh, with this button, and you can turn it on and off. It flies exclusively in stabilized mode, it, no acro on this one unless you do some firmware flashing or something like that. It has the ducted design, just like a tiny whoop and it does come with the monitor here and the monitor works very well it has a built-in dvr had a few corrupted files with the dvr but nothing major if you turn it on it is pretty self-explanatory i'm not going to get too in depth with the monitor here but one thing to note on the monitor here is every time i turned the quad on and then i hit the channel search on the monitor it comes up like this where it's rolling and everything like that. It's not getting a clear signal. You obviously could not fly it like this. So all I ever did was just unplug the drone and then plug it back in without having to do the channel search again. And the camera came up. I don't know why it mine. It might be exclusive to mine, but I've had that problem every time I've used the monitor. So just something to be aware of. The uh, transmitter is pretty good too. It is definitely not like your hobby grade style transmitter, but it is definitely good if you're just starting out. So it has the auto takeoff and auto land button here. And this is the altitude hold button. You can turn that on and off. And this will reset your trims and stuff like that. Your speed button is going to be up here on the upper left. And your LEDs, you can switch with a bunch of different colors in this guy. And you can switch it. It has to be landed while you're switching colors. So you can cycle through them with this button here in the upper right. And then once you're in the air, this button in the upper right is going to be your flip button. Flip's okay. It recovers fairly well from the flips, but I don't think you're going to be doing a whole lot of flips with this guy. It does come with this hookup to hold the monitor on the transmitter. So it just slides in like that. You can take it on and off. It is nice. It fits in there nice. And this is an all-in-one package. I didn't fly this one all that much with the monitor, but... I did give it a few flights and it's definitely doable. I'm just so used to flying this with the goggles that it was kind of difficult for me to get used to flying it with the monitor. But I didn't really see any latency or stuttering when I was recording video. So I think it's a really nice package to start out with. And it does come with a battery. This is a one cell 220 milliamp hour 30C battery. In addition to everything else, you get a charging cable and it did come with a full set of props. One nice feature on the transmitter that I really liked is it does support telemetry. So when your battery gets low, your transmitter will start beeping at you. And you do have plenty of time to get it back and land it if you're far away. But definitely a nice feature for FPV to have some sort of warning that you're going into low voltage. So why don't we get into the flight review? I'll do FPV in the house first and get some crash testing and flying in some tight spaces and then after that i'll take you out for some line of sight night flying you can fly this line of sight at night if you want to 
and I'll go through the different colors that the canopy does and show you while it's flying around. Okay, so we're gonna take off here, a little FPV. I am in the low rate, so this is the lowest, most docile rate. Oop, a little uh, hit on the elliptical. <laughs> little hit on the uh, treadmill there. And ooh, hit the E-camera, ooh. We're getting a, starting to a theme there where we're hitting the E-cameras. Anyway, we're talking about the light roan here. Oop, clip the uh, gate there. So here's full forward pitch on the low rate. Super slow, super docile. Yaw seems a little slow there. I had a little trouble with that turn. So let's go to the second rate. That's gonna give you more, you know, two beeps and more pitch. We're gonna fly a little bit faster. So a little bit easier to get around here in the second rate. This is full forward pitch on the second rate. There I am. We will try to go through the uh, tunnel of terror there in a second. So it flies real nice, real stable. I really enjoy this one. It is an excellent one to start out with. Let's see if we can get through the one on the table here. Yeah, no problem. So let's go to the third rate. And third rate's gonna be a little bit quicker. More pitch, this is full forward pitch on the third rate. And yeah, I mean, it, it moves, right? Oh, I knocked the E camera over. How dare I? So that shows you how stable this thing is. It ran into that E camera and still it's up in the air. I guess you guys won't be getting much footage from that thing. So let's try to go through the tunnel here. And we're through. One, one thing I do find with this one is the throttle is a little bit hard to manage. I think it's, there's a few dead spots in the throttle stick, as with most of these toy grade quads. So getting into tight spaces here where you kind of got to watch your... Oh, we crashed. Let me go get that. So we got the red. While well, we're landed here, why don't we change colors here? Let's go green. Let's go with the green. We'll go back in the air. Maybe I'll fly one more battery here too. This is fun. So we're still on the third right here. Oh, big hit on the elliptical, but hey, we're in the air. Oh, I killed the throttle there. Hit the ceiling too. <laughs> okay. So we're bouncing off, we're ping-ponging. What's that game called with the uh, pinball? We're like a little bit of pinball here. Oop, didn't quite make it through clean there. So you get a good flight time out of it though. Let's go on the fourth right here. And we'll zip around here. Oh, oh, I forgot the stupid, uh, <laughs> the uh, little string you pull the light down with. We'll put you over there and we'll try not to hit that string again. Let's see if we can find it. Let me go back up in the air here. See if we can, nice picture though. I like the contrast and everything. Where is the, there's the light. So there's the string here. That's what we hit. Forgot that's there. That's hard to, Obviously hard to see in the uh, FPV goggles. Ooh, ooh. Let me go this way. Man, I am crashing this thing all over the place. Should I try to get out of here? Oh, I knew I wasn't gonna make it. This is like the crash test review. The crash test review here. So. Let's go up again here. Come on, Walshy. You can fly better than this. You're not giving this light row and it's due here. You keep on hitting everything. So it is a little bit difficult to get super precise with this controller, but it's doable. I think the more you fly it, obviously, the more used to it you get. And it probably won't be an issue for you. Oh, we're running out of battery here. I am going to fly one more battery here. So we'll bring that in for a little landing. So, new battery, new possibilities. So, fourth rate, let's go upstairs right away, just to get it out of the way. Show you the range on here. Whoa, over yawed there a little. A little sensitive on this fourth rate. So obviously we're upstairs here, and we're getting good range, good picture. Don't feel any latency. And I just rang the bell there. How about, how do you like that? <laughs> Running into the old chandelier. Let's go into the living room. A little tour of the living room. And one of these days I gotta get some 
art up on the wall here. Anyway, so we're up here in the living room. And let's go over here, back downstairs, see if we can go under the chair. Yep. Whoa, now here's where I've had a few problems like getting into the basement. Yeah, for some reason in this hallway, it doesn't want to come down so fast here. So I don't know if that's just me not used to the throttle on this one or what the story is, but I've had difficulty getting this back into the basement. But that might just be. So it seems to want a happy yaw. Actually, I should probably check my. Uh, let me come in here for a little landing. A little FPV chair. My FPV chair. I want to check my motors real quick to make sure they're. One of them's not up. It seems to want a yaw. Okay. So let's go back up in the air. One of them was like slightly up, so that might have contributed a little bit to the little yaw problem we're experiencing there where it wanted to turn left, I think it was. I don't even remember. Let's see if we can get through the uh, little, oh. oh, knocked it over too. How do you like that little U camera? We're still on the green here, I think. Maybe I should have switched that when we went back up. When we switched the uh, battery up, my bad. Oh, could not make it in there. <laughs> but as you see, the sky is very stable. The frame is very durable. I am not hitting these gates. I said, you know, in the DRL 115 review there, gates aren't my thing. And I am proving it in FPV here. I mean, I'm good at flying through like the elliptical. I've done that quite a bit. But gates are definitely not my thing. Gates are not my thing. So here we go, let's go full forward pitch on the third. Oh, I hit the stupid string again. All right, one more time. Let's go full forward pitch on the third rate. Super quick, you know, you get around. Obviously my basement isn't gigantic, but oh, oh, little bump there. Stayed in the air though. It's a stable flyer, and I'm going to highly recommend this one, especially if you're just starting out. It is an excellent little package for beginners. comes with the monitor, the quad, batteries. Look at that landing. <laughs> through the, uh, I didn't mean to go through the gate, but hey, I'm going to say like I did. So yeah, definitely like the little light roan. It's a nice little package. Highly recommend it. Okay, so what we're gonna have here is a line of sight demonstration at night. And I feel like this is the best way of demonstrating the colors of this particular quad. You can change the colors with this upper right bumper button here. And that is also the flip button, but you can only change the colors when it is on the ground. So we'll cycle through him. This is like a purplish pink. I believe that's pink actually. And then you got like a light blue or maybe even white that's red red is pretty prominent yellow green light blue dark blue maybe that's perp maybe that was previous one was purple and back to pink I think i'm gonna go with this red that red seems to stand out so we got just a slight slight breeze let's put it in the air and check it out i believe we're in the high rate here so there we are, we got our little light drone flying around. Flies nice, lights up nice. If you wanted to fly this line of sight at night, clearly you can. Let's do a little flip. There's a back flip. Flip doesn't recover great from the flips. So wobbled a little bit there. That roll it did a little bit better with. Let's come in a little closer, see if we can get a better shot of it. There you go, another roll, front flip, boom. I guess it doesn't flip too bad, maybe it just caught some wind or something. So we're flying around here on the high rate, and pretty good yaw on that high rate there, as you can, as you can tell. So there I am, full yaw, not bad. And I like the way this one flies, it has pretty good range. During the daylight I was able to fly it down to my trees down there. And it kind of whips around pretty good here. So we got red here. Let's demonstrate 
one or the other, and I am flying it in the non-altitude hold mode, if you will. So this is gonna be yellow, I guess. We'll go hand launch there. A little demonstration of the yellow flying around. Not a bad little flyer. It flies nice. Pretty good yaw, you can do some funnels with it. Cyclones, whatever you wanna call them. So that's yellow. Come back, come back, come back. We caught some wind there. And let's go to the next color. What was it? Green. I like the green. So there we go, green. Whoops, killed my throttle. Recovered though. So here's a little shot of the green flying around. A little green goblin. Kind of reminds me of Pac-Man. Inky Blinky and Clyde, is it? So nice little cyclones there, little funnels. Flies nice. There's your green. Let's go, what's next? Let's see here. Light blue. So there's light blue. Not too bad. We got a flip on light blue. Back flip, front flip, right in front of us there. Oop, come back. So there's light blue. And this is either purple or dark blue, whatever you want to call it. Whoa, got a little uh, happy with the throttle there, as I like to do sometimes. So I think this is purple, or it could be, you know, a darker blue. But flies nice, real stable flyer. Can fight a little bit of wind here on this fourth rate, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as the best outdoor flyer. But it's pretty calm out tonight, so it's doing pretty well. Let's bring it in. What else do we got here? What else we got? Let's see what's next. Pink. Do a little pink flying. Not bad. All these colors are real prominent, so yeah, I mean, if you want to race this with your buddies or just with your family or whatever, just have some fun. You can assign a color to everybody and everybody knows who's who flying around there. It's real easy to tell, real distinct colors, and they're nice and bright on the LEDs. And it still gets a pretty good flight time, I would say around a four minute flight time, maybe even five. So here's white. White even looks pretty good. Flying around. All very prominent. Nice little package. Really having a lot of fun with this one. This little quad, the little quad that could. Oh, now we're starting to flash. Let's land it on the table. Oh. Oh. There we go. Can I change the color? One more time and so we're back to red so we got through all the colors and the transmitter does beep when you are an lvc and you will see a flashing so yeah nice little nice little package here overall i was super impressed with the light roan from by robot and i had a ton of fun flying it around so i'm going to highly recommend it to you guys pick it up if you are interested in getting into fpv or if it looks interesting to you i don't think you're going to be disappointed with it if you're just getting into the hobby it's nice that it comes with everything you need to get up in the air i did fly it mostly with my fat sharks which i guess is sort of cheating without flying with a monitor but i'm so used to flying that way that it's, it was really hard for me to get used to the monitor but definitely doable if you guys are just starting out so i'll leave you guys with a little bit more flight footage and be sure and check out upcoming videos thanks for watching